today I want to see how much TNT does it take to break my game, let's find out. First, let's just test one to kinda prepare ourselves for what's coming and I'm pretty sure this is not going to break my game. What about 5? Let's find out, I am pretty sure this is not going to break my game and did you see that? That was interesting and kinda felt like actual items. We are just gonna forget about what we saw when we are going to continue, this is 10 TNT and I'm pretty sure we are gonna be fine as well. How about 25? I'm interested to see how much is it actually going to take, I'm just going to fire up couple TNT and that didn't make any difference. This is 50 TNT, don't worry the numbers are gonna get higher, I just want to see what's the lowest number of TNT that's not going to cause any lag and looks like 50 didn't. What about 100 TNT, is this going to cause any lag, uh, let's find out. And that didn't really cause any lag, moving on. Now we are getting somewhere, this is 250 TNT blocks, I mean this is a pretty giant wall, I didn't really expect it to get this massive this early, but let's fire it out and let's see, okay that definitely caused a bit of lag, you can see TNT flying everywhere. So 250, maybe 200 is the lowest number where we don't get any lag, but this was not enough to actually crush the game. Might as well just double that, this is 500 TNT and this is starting to get massive, the wall is really thick and it's 500 blocks of TNT. I'm kinda scared for my game, but with 250 not really causing that much lag, hopefully this is not going to crush the game as well. And we're definitely getting some lag because you can see the TNT just lagging in the air, but again it wasn't enough to actually crush the game, so we have to go even higher. Well I decided to just double the 500, pretty much putting that 500 layer on top of each other, so you can see this is a lot taller and a lot bigger of a wall. This should be interesting, 1000 TNT firing up right now. Hopefully this is not going to crash your game because I kind of wanted to get into bigger numbers but we'll see it creates a really nice hole in the middle because of all of the lag and then just starts flying everywhere and you can see the lag on the screen is insane and I guess this is again not going to be enough to actually crash the game since the TNT is clearing. Let's move on to maybe like 5000 or 2.5000, we'll see. Obviously I couldn't decide so I went for 8000 TNT, I mean this has to cause a lot of the lag, since even 250 blocks of TNT caused the lag so 8000 should do some damage. I have to take a couple screenshots because this just looks too amazing to pass out, just look how many of the white blocks of the ignited TNT and TNT are flying everywhere, but looks like this is not going to crush us because TNT is actually clearing up, we have a hole and a lot of ghost blocks. A quick disclaimer, I actually lost the footage of 10,000 and 25,000 TNT exploding, so we are going to go straight to 72,000 in the next clip. Well, this is a big jump, we went from 8,000 TNT to 72,000 TNT, it might not look like that much TNT, but this is incredibly tall and it's really wide. Because my render distance is low, this really doesn't look like 72,000 TNT, but you need to keep in mind that the render distance is cutting some of the TNT off, and this is completely solid and it's just insane. I actually lost the footage of 10k and 25k of the TNT exploding, and those clips to actually took about like an hour to explode together, so I didn't really have that much space to do it again, especially since the area was already kinda destroyed, so I just decided to skip it and go right away from 8000 to 72000, and we were seeing a ton of lag. This took like maybe 20 minutes or something to explode fully and it was just insane. I was just taking like screenshot after screenshot because how cool it actually looked. And I thought I would just kinda leave this clip like a minute long so you guys can kinda see the explosion. And keep in mind that this is sped up like 100 times already and it doesn't really look that fast. It's interesting to see that this video is probably gonna be maybe 5 to 6 minutes long and it took hours upon hours for me to make. Every time you see it kinda the TNT jump and move from the screen. In real life time that usually meant maybe like 5 to 10 minutes actually passed between the actual picture jumps. And for you guys it's like couple seconds because this footage is actually sped up a lot. 
and 72,000 TNT took so long to actually explode, and maybe the TNT itself wasn't really going to explode for that long, maybe just all of the lag made it, but after like 40 or something minutes, 40-50 minutes, I managed to get this on the screen, which I never saw before in Minecraft, and after like maybe 5 or 6 minutes in real life, and of course over here maybe like 20 seconds for you guys, we got Minecraft isn't responding, and we officially broke the game, and pretty much finished with the video.